Today's guide, Jingwei, the Oath Keeper. I'll be going over what she brings to the team, how her kit synergizes, and what separates her from other characters in the Hunter class. I'll also cover her abilities and provide tips you will be able to apply in your next match. Item builds and conquest specific strategies will be avoided as these tend to change quite frequently. Feel free to skip to any part of this video that fits your needs. Roll the intro. Jingwei. Jingwei is part of the Hunter class, which deal physical damage using ranged basic attacks and are typically seen in the ADC role. She uses her unique kit and high mobility to get out of sticky situations and reposition herself mid-combat. Her kit has built-in critical hit chance and she is considered one of the safest hunters in the game. Passive. Rapid Reincarnation. This passive enables Jingwei to leave the fountain by flying over walls and obstacles quite rapidly. The furthest she can reach is a tier 2 tower, but that is enough to make her a problematic lane opponent. It enables her to back more frequently than other ADCs without losing any of the farm. Ability number 1. Persistent Gust. This ability creates a small circle that will knock up enemy gods. It persists for 6 seconds. If Jingwei walks into the area, she is knocked up and gains an attack speed buff that lasts 7 seconds. Ability number 2, Explosive Bolts. Jingwei will load her crossbow augmenting her next 3 basic attacks with a wider hitbox and an increased critical hit chance. This makes hitting her basic attacks much easier. Ability number 3, Agility. This ability is what separates Jingwei from the rest of the hunters. It enables her to dash midair, meaning if she's knocked up by a plug or any other kind of knockup, she can use that to her advantage and reposition herself. It will also provide her with a power and movement speed buff. The dash goes further and provides a slightly stronger buff when used in the air compared to when used directly on the ground. This can be combined with her first ability, Persistent Gust, for an easy escape. Ability number 4, the ultimate, Airstrike. After channeling for a brief moment, Jingwei will launch into the air. As she ascends, she will drop explosives that will damage enemies in the targeted area. She'll hover in the air for 2 seconds and can select the area she wishes to land in. This too is an excellent tool for repositioning or chasing down foes. This ability provides crowd controlled immunity from the moment she activates it until she lands. The following is based on years of personal experience. Every player has their own style and preferences, and that's alright. These tips are here to provide help to those who seek it. If you dislike them, please feel free to ignore them. If you disagree with any of them, feel free to let me know. I try to keep an open mind and always willing to learn to get better at a game that I love. Jingwei doesn't necessarily need to rush or max out a specific ability, since most of her damage is focused around her basic attacks. Instead, she may level up her first ability, Persistent Gust, just enough to help her clear the minion ways. Her third ability, Agility, provides good power and leveling it up will reduce its cooldown, enabling the ability to be used more frequently, while the second ability, Explosive Bolts, only increases its critical hit chance when leveling it up. Whenever possible, put points into the ultimate. That said, here's my recommended level up order. Tip number one. Warning, this only truly works if the wave is in motion. Clearing can feel difficult with this character, since her abilities don't hit the entire wave. You can try using your explosive bolts to group up the wave. This can be followed by your persistent gust on the grouped up minions for the most efficient wave clear. Tip number 2. 
Jingwei's unique passive enables her to rotate rapidly. A big fight is happening at Pyromancer while you and your lane opponent are farming in duo? No problem, try back into the fountain and flying to the targeted location to give your teammates some backup. Then, when the fight is done, back to the fountain and fly back to lane. Tip number 3 Explosive Bolts does not decay or disappear until you either use them or activate them again. It also goes on cooldown as soon as you activate it. This means you can activate it before arriving at a teamfight and have a second set of explosive bolts at the ready. Tip number 4 Her persistent gust can be used on herself. If an opponent dives you, you can use this ability to disrupt them and dash away with your agility. Tip number 5 Once you get more comfortable, don't be shy to use your mobility aggressively. This can create pressure and force your opponent to make a quick decision. Either they fight back or try to run. Either way, you should always try to ward your lane, especially before using your escape ability offensively. I hope this video proved useful and that you'll be able to apply what you learned in your next match. If you enjoy the content or there's a god you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you all on the battleground.